Martin. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy to be the token Silicon Valley uh, participant here. But as such, and... Um, uh oh what, what are you, a bad cameraman? You can't follow your subject? Uh, okay, I have to stand still. In. So, um, I, I'm actually from Norway, and I can speak like um, Ole does if I want to, and I can sound like a little... <laughs> but I'll, I've lived in the U.S. for long enough that I'll, I'll try to speak, uh, yeah, learn a little bit English. Yeah. Uh, but I have actually, the real point is that I, I have a company, uh, Plum, it's, it's, uh, we're, under, we're less than 20 people and we work in five countries. <coughs> we have people all over the world and we don't, we don't have offices. We have off, we ha I live in uh, San Francisco, I have a team in San Francisco, we have people in Boston, Shanghai, Pakistan, Bangladesh and Romania. And we are happy to employ people in Menorca, in Madrid, in Frankfurt. So if anybody wants to talk to me about, about working for Plum, if you think what I'm going to tell you is exciting, come talk to me afterwards. I'd love to talk to you. Um, so Plum is a very simple idea. You know, we talked about sort of changing communications in a bunch of different ways. You know how if you have a magazine or maybe you're sitting in your car and, you're trying and, you, and you, you find something that's interesting, what do you do? You do this. Right, and then you, and then you, like this, and then, and then you, you know, you save it, and you, and maybe you put it on your desk, or you put it in your pocket, you give it to your friends, an article, right? Well, how do you do that on the internet? How do you take the things you care about, you stumble across, and you need, and you rip a page off a website, you rip a video off another one, and you put it in one place? Like when I was coming here to Menorca, I've been to Mallorca before, but I've never been to Menorca. So I was coming here. I used Plum to pull together all the things I found in one place. But just as important, and we heard some about this earlier, just as important, when I pull things together, what other people are pulling together as well, if it matches what I'm doing, I'd like to find it. So think of Plum as your universal save button. It's like that big button that anything you look at, you click at the Plum button, and it puts it in one place, in a topic. So my whole vision is, I want to, you know, Google says in grandiose terms, we're going to organize the world's information. Well, I want to make it social. I want to add perspectives, I want to add your perspectives to information and ideas and thoughts, put it in one place, pull it together in one place and then let people connect through their information, through the way, the things they care about, the things they are passionate about or just the things they think are funny and silly and stupid. Put it all in one place. So I'll, I'll share a little bit of story with you, uh, which is actually kind of a sad story, so I don't want it to be a downer, but it, it was what really got me going on the plum idea. This was in 1990. I was living in San Francisco. I had a sister. She was living in Alaska. And another sister. She was living in New York City. And I have a brother. He's back in Norway. And my mother and father were living in Norway. And I get this phone call um, in uh, uh, just early 99, January 99. It's a phone call we all dread. We don't want to get. And it was my mother calling saying my father had just had a stroke. And so what do we do? We all go to Dr. Google. Right? We all go. We Google it. We try to find out you know, what's going on. It's something, he was diagnosed with something called a glioblastoma. It's a very rare and, and lethal brain tumor. So we all go to Google. We find lots of information all over the world and all over different places. We even find some people who had survived this, some shrines to people who had actually managed to survive this. We pulled it all together. And what tool did we use? We used email, of course. We emailed each other back and forth. And then we planned a, a vacation, a family vacation in, in the south of the United States. We brought everybody together. We had a nice time. We found some treatment options. Uh, and we had a, you know, a, good, a good time with my father for his last time. <coughs> well then, two years later, a friend of mine emails me and she says, um, you know, my boyfriend's father was just diagnosed with a glioblastoma. Isn't that what your dad had? And I said, yeah. And she goes, well, can, I, can you get me the information? And you've all had this, right? You know, maybe it's just a friend coming to visit you in Barcelona. Hey, what restaurant should I see? Right? So you go into your email, you know, you bring in your tweezers, you try to pluck it all out. Of course, some of the email was on my sister's computer, some of the email was on my old computer that I'd lost or replaced, etc. Well, I would have been thrilled if I could have taken all that research I did and put it in one place, and when somebody else had that problem, they would have just discovered it. Of course, I couldn't share this with my, sister, with, with my friend, or very little. And actually, I happened to be in Norway at the time as well, so I was, you know, a different computer, etc. So our thing is just really connecting people's heads, connecting people's attention, co connecting their thoughts, their interests, in a very lightweight way, just that one save button and you can collect it. 
So uh, Plum, I've been doing this for about two years now with my co-founder, Margaret Olson, who lives in Boston. So we've been building the company, and we will be on May 24th. Keep an eye out. We will be launching some very exciting stuff, big news, big social site. We're going to be doing some announcements. So it's been a private beta so far. And then we have lots of big uh, partnerships and announcements coming out. And the last thing I'll just point out is Plum is, is, is all built on openness. It's all open APIs. You can build your own applications using our APIs. You can use the modules that you have in Plum to put things, whether it's badges on your website or actual, you know, actual full frame. We call it Plum in a Box you can put on your site. So our whole strategy is to let you put Plum type functionality on your websites or enable other websites to use Plum inside of, uh, of their environments. Actually, we're launching one of our first big launch partners is a European travel site. We're going to call it the Social Trip Planner. And you're basically going to be able to sort of snip, clip, and collect stuff from all over, make plans for your trips, etc. So keep an eye out coming soon. Thank you. <laughs>